In today's video we are going to talk about dirty solar panels and how to clean them. Dirt on them reduces the efficiency by about 10 to 20 percent. When to clean solar panels? The best time or ideal time would be early morning or late in the afternoon when there is not, no direct sun hitting the panels because they get really hot and once you spray them with water they dry up quick. So the best time is either when it's overcast or early morning, late in the afternoon, so the water, the panels stay wet for as long as possible when you want to brush them. Because depending on how many solar panels you clean, when you start hosing them down, by the time you hose them and come back to the first one with a brush or a broom, it might be a bit dry. Now I use, as I mentioned, this uh, broom stick with a brush. It's uh, relatively soft, it should not be too harsh. So make sure it doesn't hurt when you try to feel it on your hand because that can also in the long run can scratch the surface of the panel. So it should be relatively uh, smooth but also when I push, this is a great angle, when I push it just kind of scrapes off all the firmer dirt of the panel. I have six solar panels here that over the years turned yellow. Some people would worry that the efficiency is reduced However, this is perfectly okay and these panels are still at around 95% efficiency after about six years of operation. As you can see, the dirt here is quite significant and that reduces their efficiency dramatically. And now we are going to talk about how to clean them. More angle on solar panels, the better. So steeper angle, the better, is because when the rain falls on them it tends to wash them better because the runoff is faster so when you find some i have different angles here of the panels ideally in this climate it would be 26 degrees we are in southeast queensland if they are laying more flat you will need to wash them more regularly these ones are 26 degrees angle but still you can see quite a lot of uh, bird droppings and we have a lot of flying foxes here uh, flying above at night and they make a big mess as well. When you do clean them, well I personally use just a hose, water garden hose and a, a big broom, like a big broom brush. And when you wash them make sure you clean this bottom here as well. Sometimes a fungi starts growing on them, a fungi that grows on the tiles and uh, this can actually cause some harm. So make sure you wash this where the water sits in the groove. So with one stroke alongside the bottom edge of the solar panels. As you can see, these are quite dirty now. So it's time to give them a good clean. So firstly, the solar panels are going to be soaked, just sprayed with, all the, with water, simply to soak up all the residues and build-ups. When I clean panels, depending on access that you have to the solar panel, I use this uh, broom which is about over one foot large. You don't need anything wider because then you will not get, you will not get all the dirt off and by simply if it's access from the side i just do simple strokes back and forth all across down the bottom and if i have access from the top of the panel just downwards all the way and not missing any any spot now i mentioned uh, bird droppings and I mentioned flying fox. Yes, it is a large bat in Australia that can have a wingspan up to one meter. And their excrements are really sticky. They like eating figs and all sorts of different wild fruit. And when they drop on this panel, it's literally quite large and sticky like a glue. So it needs a lot of water to dissolve and then come off. Sometimes I have to use this uh, scraper. Uh, this one I haven't used for a while now, so it's corroded, but usually make sure it's quite clean and smooth so you don't, so you don't damage the, the, the top 
play of the panel. Uh, so it should be nice and smooth and just gently uh, scrape off anything that is rock solid. Hopefully it's not <laughs> rock solid once you dissolve it with water. When you clean the panels when you finish and uh, if there is a sun go back to the uh, to it and once it's dry you will see clearly where you missed some spots and then you can revisit and finish cleaning completely I do not use any chemical I use just water and the broom because uh, I collect water from the roof into the rainwater tanks and we use that water for the garden so you wouldn't want any chemicals in that water. It's a choice. There is many options how to clean the panels. There are also bucket and a, a squeegee uh, way when you just dip the squeegee into the bucket and uh, clean and uh, take off with the uh, rubber blade. When working on your roof, guys, you are taking full responsibility for your own health and safety and for the safety of those around you. Make sure you notify someone before you go on the roof so they can keep an eye on you just in case something happens. Wear sturdy shoes so you don't slip. Wear long sleeve, long, long pants so you don't get sunburned. And I would be wearing a safety harness and a helmet if you are working on a more than a single story house. Your safety is your own priority. Make sure you have a good insurance just in case something happens. And if you are not sure, please do hire a professional to clean your solar panels. Stay safe. Working in heights can be dangerous and you need to be careful at all times. So many ways to do it. And I hope this was helpful to you guys. Make sure you keep your solar panels clean because you will increase efficiency of them. It's winter in Australia and uh, there is a dew building up every night on these panels water condenses and that attracts dust so especially in winter when there are big temperature differences here in this climate solar panels get dirty more often and because we haven't had uh, rain here for a long time uh, it's um, you find out that in winter you clean you need to clean the solar panels more often than in uh, in summer times when there is a heavy rain fall that's right enjoy your solar power it's so good to be uh, self-sufficient in terms of energy and if you ever plan to get an electric car solar panels are a must whether you have just a household or you think about getting an electric car if you decide to purchase any electric vehicle especially Tesla I'm posting the referral link below this video so you can get some great incentives from Tesla company enjoy yeah.